Hi, I'm Jennifer Van Pelt from The Stamp Addict in San Diego, California, and I'm bringing you the tip of the day from the Scrapbook Expo. And I'm going to teach you how to frame your pictures in your scrapbooks with Zentangle. Zentangle is an easy way to um, pattern using step-by-step -step techniques. So I'm going to show you we have this. This is what we're going to learn. It's called Sanibel because it looks kind of like the seashells in Sanibel Island. And um, here's another one that you can see that I did. We're not going to learn that one today, but it just brought it as a sample. And this Sanibel looks complicated, but it's really easy to do. You just start out by drawing some diagonals on your corners. And then you just do some little scallops all the way down to the edge, bring it down to that corner, and then from each of the ends of the scallops, you bring it down to the end. Then you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to keep going all the way around the frame. Just doing your scallops and bringing it down to the base of the picture. And you're going to create a nice little seashell looking frame all the way around your photo. This would be great to do with beach photos. And we're coming up to a corner and I'm going to show you what you do around a corner. When you come to the corner, you're going to just attach to that line right there. And then you'll keep making those lines right there. And then you'll turn this and just start doing it all over. And bring it down to that corner. You can see how it just curves that whole frame around. And you just continue on until you finish the whole frame. It doesn't take very long. Quick, easy picture frame. You can do this with photos. You can do this with words that you're trying to showcase on a scrapbook page. It's lots of fun. Zentangle looks really hard, but it's very easy. It's just simply breaking down the steps and doing one thing at a time. To build, here's another corner. You're doing one step at a time, and you're going to end up with a nice end product. Here we go. I teach Zentangle at my store, The Stamp Addict in San Diego, every month and teach new patterns every month. So check out our website, www.thestampaddict.com, and that will take you to our, you'll see our calendar page on there and you can see all our classes. We do Zentangle, but we do all sorts of other card making and scrapbooking classes as well. So. Come by, visit us, have some fun. And I hope you're enjoying this tip of the day. Last corner. Oh, the tools I'm using, it's a micron pen. And then to do shading, I just have a pencil and a soft leaded pencil and a tortillon to do some sh blending. Almost at the end here. There we go.
And if you wanted to do some shading around the edges, I just put some pencil line down. And soften it with a blending stump. And that's my the tip of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.